loué, il soit loué. Yes, you believe me. Talk 
Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. No comment. No comment. May the Lord bless the fathers. We're going to now call the mothers. Yes, please clap for the mothers.
Ma vous avez été à la hauteur. Message qui est au corps. Alors, sans plus tarder, nous avons un peu de temps. Nous avons un peu de temps. Nous avons un peu de temps. Nous avons un peu de de temps. Nous avons un peu de temps. Nous avons un peu de temps. Nous est-ce qu'on peut encore acclamer pour le Seigneur On peut encore acclamer pour le Seigneur. Alors, on a dit du haut, on a dit que papa pour la suite à papa. Que Dieu vous bénisse. On acclame, on acclame, on acclame. Nous t'élevons le roi de rois, les seigneurs de la gloire. 
Nous te bénissons, notre Dieu. Merci pour ces moments précis, Seigneur. Un moment où nous voulons t'écouter, Seigneur. Un moment de la gloire, de la grâce et de la confiance. mighty name. Amen. As we're standing, I just want us to go directly into the word. In us, how to serve God, how to trust in God, the fruits that God give up, gives us as a result of that. I'd like to thank all of the servants of the Lord, for they follow exactly as our Father does, serving God, teaching us, nurturing us with the word of God. And then last but not least, I'd like to thank each and every one of you that are here today. It's a hot day. We could have been anywhere, but we chose to be in the presence of the Lord. So may we be rewarded for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So um, I just want to do a summary of the book that we just um, read the scripture from, the book of 1 Samuel. So this book was written by Prophet Samuel himself. And it is said to be a part of the Deuteronomistic history. So that includes 
Deuteronomy, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, Joshua, Judges, and 1 and 2 Kings. By repenting. Amen. We know that as people, we are impure. As people, we sin. So the first way that we can please the Lord with our heart is by making him happy. It's by um, repenting, sorry. The Bible tells us in the book of Jeremiah 4.4, 4, it says, circumcise your heart. Amen. What is circumcision? I'm not going to go into it too much, but we know that the procedure of circumcision is taking the old skin in order for new ones to be revealed. Sin makes us dirty, so it is important for us to go before the Lord and ask for forgiveness for every sin that we have done. It's important for us to not just say sorry, that's not repenting. Repenting is changing your way. Repenting is taking off the envy that you used to have. Repenting is taking away the jealousy that you used to have. Repenting is taking away the selfishness and turning around and facing God. The second reason for us to make the Lord happy, the second reason for us to wait, way that we can make the Lord happy is by renewing. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 51 verse 10, it says in the arts, the Lord to create a clean heart in us and a new spirit. When you sin, as we said, it makes you dirty. It's like having a clean towel if you use it once, it may remain clean. You use it twice. The more you use that towel, the more dirtier it gets. And that's how we are as people. We're not perfect. The more that we go on in this world, the more sin that we are attracted to, we become filthy with sin. So it's important for us to go to the Lord and say, Lord, as I've asked for your forgiveness, create in me a clean heart. Purify me so I no longer resemble what I was in the past. Purify me so that I'm no longer selfish, Lord. Purify me so that I'm no longer hateful, Lord. Purify me so that I'm no longer argumentative, Lord. Purify me so that I am different. The second way in order for your heart to make God happy is for you to be renewed by your heart. Amen. The third way for us to make God happy with our heart is to renounce. Amen. What does renouncing mean? Renouncing is the act of complete surrender. As children of God, we need to surrender our hearts to the Lord. Amen. Our hearts are not our own, but they belong to God. When we look at the Bible, in the book of Acts, we see that they're talking about David. And it says that David was a man after God's own heart. Meaning that David followed God's will. He did not look at his own. Meaning that David's heart became God's heart. David no longer valued what he wanted, but he valued what God wanted. Amen. Let me give you an example. In the book of 2 Samuel, I believe, David committed a, a sin, a great sin. And what happened was his son was going to pay the price of that sin with, with his life. His son became so, so ill. And what David...